Samsung is launching its Galaxy S5 in the UK this week and it will be sandwiched between the launch of the HTC One M8 and the Sony Xperia Z2 which is launching next week, both of which are likely to be its main rivals for the high-end smartphone market in 2014. Now all these phones have very similar specs, their screens are all the same size with similar resolutions, their cameras are all relatively close and of course they all have very high price tags. So what does the Galaxy S5 have that will make it stand out from the competition? Despite rumours to the contrary, ahead of launch, Samsung hasn't gone all metal and glass in the construction of the S5, preferring to stick with the plastic materials used in all previous Galaxy S models. There's not much to say about the design really. If you've seen a Galaxy S4, then you'll have a good idea of what the S5 looks and feels like. One thing Samsung has done is make the phone dust and waterproof. But one consequence of this is that whatever special coating has been put on the rear dimpled cover has made it incredibly slippy. Samsung has followed Apple by introducing a fingerprint scanner on the home button of its flagship smartphone. It is used primarily to unlock the phone but could also be used in alternative to entering passwords in apps or securing transactions if developers choose to implement the technology. While Apple gets you to hold your finger in the concave home button of the iPhone 5S, Samsung asks you to swipe your finger across the home button of the S5. Not a problem you may think, but in reality, trying to get the Galaxy S5 to recognize your thumbprint while using the phone one-handed is almost impossible. Apple lets you scan your fingerprint in any orientation, but for the Galaxy S5 version to work, you have to swipe down vertically, otherwise the phone just won't recognize your fingerprint. Which means that after a week of frustration, we went back to the tried and tested method of entering a PIN number. Samsung has deigned to put a heart rate monitor on the back of the Galaxy S5. Yes, you heard that right, a heart rate monitor. Why? Well, we have no idea. It's a complete mystery to us as to why anyone would want one on a smartphone. Samsung is pushing hard into the health and fitness area, as seen with the launch of the Gear Fit fitness tracker alongside the Galaxy S5. But a heart rate monitor on a phone is clearly a step too far. That may all sound like we're being a bit harsh on the Galaxy S5. And we probably are. After all, it's a very good phone. It's still got a great screen, fast processor, good camera, and the design isn't terrible. The problem is that it, Samsung hasn't got the details right. The fingerprint scanner doesn't work properly and leaves you frustrated. And the heart rate monitor at the back just doesn't need to be there. In a world where competition is so high, these details matter and could be the difference between success and failure. Thanks for tuning in and to read the full Galaxy S5 review, please log on to ibtimes.co.uk slash technology.